So many of us now use Zoom as our go-to platform for meetings, presentations, coaching calls, or webinars, but it can feel a bit clunky at times when we're trying to transition from a talking head like this to doing a presentation and maybe want to play a video or things like that. And it can just get confusing for us. It creates that pause while we're having to fumble around and do it. And it just doesn't look or feel professional. Well, let me introduce Ecamm Live to you. Now, I have to point out at this point that this is Mac only, I'm afraid. On a PC, we're not sure whether you could quite do this with a bit of software like OBS, but uh, those of you that are on Mac, if you haven't heard of Ecamm Live, you're gonna love this. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. If you're already using Ecamm, then you're gonna see a great way for you to be able to really utilize this when you're over here in Zoom. So first, let me give you an example of me running a presentation without having Ecamm Live. So here I am in Zoom and I decide that I wanna do a screen share and uh, initially I wanna show this web page. And so I click here, this one and down here. Yeah, is that right? Are you getting that? Is it coming through? You know, this is the kind of way we work because I can't really see on here now. But I'm, I'm assuming that's what you're seeing the other end. I don't actually know whether my face is on Zoom or not anymore. It doesn't feel good. And then maybe I I now need to stop that sharing and I think, yeah, there's a, there's a video I wanna play you. Where did it go? This one here, let's do this one. So I wanna share this. I need to open it up here and then I can come back over here there it is, quick time. Right, I can share that now and I can hit play over here. And that video is playing. Maybe I've got a presentation and I suddenly think, um, I've got some slides, I've got some stats that I did on a recent webinar. Let's just share you that. Uh, and I wanna be able to share these stats to you that I found up here. I'm in my screen share, it's this keynote here. And I'm going to share that out. Okay, so you can see this presentation and that's kind of how it goes. And I don't think that was particularly over exaggerated. I've been on calls where people are doing this and I just think, oh, come on, this is awful. You know, I'm, I'm tuning out. You're coming across as unprofessional at this point. Now, in contrast, let me show you how slick this can be using Ecamm. I'm here in my presentation in Zoom and I decide to do a screen share with a click of a button like this and I can choose whether I want to stay on camera or not. I can move actually this around if I want to. I can come back to me at any point. I can then go over to a PowerPoint full screen like this if I wanted or maybe I want to be on camera while I'm talking so I can do my PowerPoint this way around. We had a video that we fumbled trying to find. Well, that's been preloaded in. Here it is. So how slick is that? I just spotlight my camera so it's full size for everyone rather than it being in a thumbnail in a gallery view. And then I use my Ecamm Live controls and change from cameras to slides to videos to screen shares, whatever I want. And I use a Stream Deck, so everything is controlled within a few clicks down here. And talking of Stream Deck, I can set this thing up so that I can, with one button, mute everybody on that Zoom call. That can be really frustrating, things like that. Uh, maybe letting participants in, all of those things. If it's got a shortcut key attached to it, we can do it here on the Stream Deck. Now, if you're new to Ecamm, we do have a playlist walking you through the main features of it, uh, just showing you around it for the first time. And if you want to take a trial out, you can do a 14-day trial. There's a link in the description and you can just play with all of these features uh, within that 14 days without any restrictions. Here, I want to show you how I just created this short presentation that includes screen sharing from a Chrome browser, bringing in slides that I've created in Keynote, bringing in a video that I want to talk about, and then back to a full screen shot of me here as well. In fact, why don't we go for it? Let's bring in the comments from Zoom and poll from Zoom as well. And then we're gonna run through and demo everything to you. And then before we get to the end of the video, I do just wanna flag up a drawback that you need to know about if you're going from Ecamm into Zoom this way. Okay, so first of all, and this is always a challenge, how you fit things around on your screen and desk here. This is Ecamm Live over here. And uh, this is how we build up these presentations and things. So we're creating everything as scenes and I can either put things in folders or I can create a new profile. For example, I've got a profile over here for a webinar that we did. And in this presentation where I would normally have had PowerPoint open or Keynote, I talk about PowerPoint, but I, I use Keynote. I would normally have had that open and I'd be working away through here. 
But look, I've created scenes in here every time there's a change of a slide, whether that be a video or a slide, and it's me there on camera in that slide, I create a new scene. And then what I'm able to do in that webinar, which was done on Zoom, I just hit one button all the time that's saying, go to next scene, go to next scene. And, and through it goes. So that's an example of how I've done this and I've built it out that way. We're just going to quickly sort one out in here. So I'm gonna change back to my general profile. And what I'll do, I've already created a set of scenes here. We're just going to delete those and start again with them. So we make a little folder here called Zoom Demo. And inside of this, I'm going to, first of all, just bring in a new scene, which by default comes in as this camera. I'm gonna call that me. And then let's create another scene. What do we have? We had a screen share. And uh, these are all the basics really in Ecamm that we're choosing up here. Do we want a camera? Do we want a screen share? So now my screen share, I don't want the current application. I want Chrome and we're picking on our Academy as a screen share demo. And I can zoom in on that a bit if I want to lose some of these edges. I can choose whether I want a picture in picture up there. I'll leave it in for now. In fact, what I'm gonna do is just turn this into um, a square up in the corner for now. Uh, what else do we want? We just had a PowerPoint, didn't we? A <laughs> keynote presentation. So rather than needing to have keynote open, I quickly come over here to my keynote presentation. And just for the sake of this, we're going to pick the first two. So I'm going to say PowerPoint one, and that's this slide. And I literally just drag it onto there and I've got that one in. I can duplicate this and we'll try this second one. That's got the orange circle, drop that on there. And then I need to bring a camera in that sits over the top of it. So I'm just going to create a camera overlay in a circle. And I sit myself there. I lock that down. So now I've just created this PowerPoint. I've now created this one here. Call that PowerPoint one and PowerPoint two. We had a video that we wanted to play, so we just create another one here, and we'll call this video. And I could just go down to Finder, find my video, drag it onto here. Again, it's by default put me picture in picture, but I don't want that on this one. So as easy as this, I'm building this up, I'm planning my presentation. I now don't need to have Kino open. Let's close that down. I'm always trying to minimize apps that I've got open, that I've got running, because it's just going to help the processor and, and mean I get a better image quality come out the other end of it. So I make sure that in Zoom, I've got my Ecamm virtual cam that is now bringing out. So as you can see on my whole screen here, over this side is Ecamm. And as I change around between these different presentations, you can see that's what's feeding out there to Zoom as well. As quick as that, literally in, in a few minutes, we've put that together. I could keep duplicating those slides out if I wanted. Different presentations I could put into different folders or I can actually in Ecamm create different profiles. So yeah, it, it's as easy as that for me to do. And so you've already seen me doing it on the Zoom screen. Uh, the other thing we said about doing, didn't we, was adding in polls. Uh, this is one that I've already got in here about using polls inside of Ecamm. Who thinks this is a great feature? So I can add a poll into my meeting or into my webinar and uh, at a point where I say launch this poll in, it goes in and then I'm saying to those that are in the group, hey, you know, there's a question just appeared at the side of you. Let me know what you think, which do you think this is a great idea or not? I can do the same thing with the chat. In Zoom, I choose them to be external. So they're not sitting attached to the side of my window. They're floating windows. And then I can do the same thing over here in Ecamm. And let's create another scene. And what I'm going to do in this one is Zoom chat. Whoever offers and shows the Zoom chat when you're in a meeting. But how cool would that be to go, actually, let me just bring your questions up and let's roll back through this and see what you were asking. So I come over back to Ecamm and we're going to create a blank scene this time. I'm going to take this off. 
we go through all of this in a lot more detail uh, over on that playlist. So I'm going to say I want Zoom chat. And here it is. We want to come out of this wide and go to custom. And then we can just focus in on this chat and I can bring that up at the side as big as I want. And actually, I could even crop in on this. I won't bother for now, but we could crop these edges out so people can't see this. We can bring a camera up at the side, which is me. And uh, again, I'm just going to go for this custom size and fit something probably like this. So now you can see that how this would come out on Zoom is I've cut across from this one and I've said, OK, let's have a look at the chat then. Let's see what's being asked over here in the chat. Click on this and this chat that is down here is what you, is appearing at the side of me in that Zoom window. And exactly the same thing can happen with a poll. Uh, I can just for the sake of this change this over. And in fact, we can just very quickly duplicate it. And we call this one Zoom poll. Might as well. Um, and then on this one, we change this from Zoom's chat to Zoom's poll. Slightly different sizing. So if we wanted to, we could adjust this around so that it becomes wider. You get the idea. Imagine being on your meeting and instead of saying to people over there in the chat, or you should have a poll over there, you, you're talking away over here. You've asked them to submit their response into the poll. Uh, let's just have a look at it. Okay, really interesting to see that 75% of you said yes to this. Um, back to you over here. Uh, and interesting that point that Adrian just made in the chat down there. Let's bring that up. This is awesome. Talk about next level presentations. And it isn't hard for me to do and run on Zoom because I'm doing all my work over here in Ecamm. I've got it all prepped in advance. And as I say, I'm not going to go into it now. We're already going over time, really. But the Stream Deck, everything that I'm doing there, I could allocate to a button on this Stream Deck in front of me. This is one of the large sized ones, but everything on there is a button that I can add things to. And as you saw there, I'm even working my lights and things with this Stream Deck as well. But we're definitely going off on a tangent there. Now, the drawback that I mentioned earlier on that you need to know about this system of doing this is that everything we're doing here is coming through the camera into Zoom. So Zoom isn't seeing this as a screen share. Normally, when you do a screen share in Zoom, it ups the resolution because it knows you're sharing text and things. But because we're kind of tricking Zoom and we're sending everything out of Ecamm, into Zoom through the window. So when I'm down here and you have selected my camera, I've selected Ecamm Live Virtual Camera as my camera feed coming in. And so what can happen is maybe you're doing this and you've got a gallery view and you start sharing your presentation over here and no one can read it because you're down in a gallery view. So first thing you need to spotlight yourself so that you become full size for everyone and then all the thumbnails go to the side. The other thing you need to do is to make sure that your resolution is turned up because Zoom by default will squash down your resolution because it's trying to keep, uh, rightly so, you know, you might have 30, 50, 100 people on this call. Well, it wants to limit the resolution, the, the size of everyone's cameras, the quality. But when you're trying to share text on here, and this used to be a real issue and people would come back and go, I've put all this work into a presentation. I've shared it doing this method of Ecamm into Zoom. And then my audience are saying, we can't read it, it's pixelated. That's not the stress that you need when you're halfway through doing your presentation. So there is a workaround for this. Um, we've actually dedicated the next video to it. So I'm gonna encourage you to go over to that in a minute. As long as you're on a paid plan of Zoom, you can get at least 720p resolution, which is what we're used to seeing on Facebook and other platforms anyway. And I'll also tell you how you can get 1080p, which is what we do when we're on Zoom. So please come and join me in that next video. Don't skip this part because you could put all this time and energy into this and your audience are only gonna see it in a very pixelated form. You've gotta do this bit next, all right? So I'm gonna jump across to that next video and I'll see you there.